Joel Wakelin loves the latest and greatest in gadgets. But looking at this bin of phones and other gizmos, it appears she's not ready to let go of the old stuff either. I have everything from phones that I haven't used in five years that are still sitting in a pile, uh, various versions of the iPads that also sit in a pile and don't get used. Nicole says her gadgets have grown on her. It's hard to part with it. You know, it means so much when you buy it. Dr. Christina Villarreal is a behavior therapist who specializes in hoarding. She says gadget hoarding is becoming more prevalent. Gadget hoarding is a form of hoarding disorder, which is a person having persistent difficulty with parting uh, with their possessions regardless of their value. For serious hoarders, staying current can be a financial drain. I've definitely seen patients who struggled with feeling the need to accrue electronic devices in spite of their ability to afford them. Um, it's definitely becoming an increased area of concern for many people. But is keeping a collection of dated devices a sign you need help? Holding on to old cell phones or old laptops isn't necessarily hoarding or a problem, as long as it's not affecting a person's work life, home life, relationships, and ability to function. Nicole says she's not that far gone and points out a practical reason for hanging on to old electronics. But we haven't gotten rid of them because there's that sense, what if something happened and I needed this as a backup? However, she does admit some emotional attachment to her collection, something Dr. Villarreal says is not uncommon. Some people hold on to electronic devices because they use them during a special time in their life. Maybe they had cell phones from college, um, pagers that they used in particular work settings. Whether the motivation is sensible or sentimental, if you've got gadgets galore, consumer guru Andrea Warwick has some advice. Consider selling them so you can help pay for some monthly expenses like your cable or electricity bill. Warwick says letting go of the gadgets could lead to some serious cash back in your pocket. Nicole knows her stash could go for big bucks, but she's holding on to it, at least for now. Gadgets are probably my big weakness. Uh, I try not to hoard anything else. Another reason experts say some people hang on to these old devices, because they're concerned about their personal information that might be on them and don't want it falling into the wrong hands. I'm Brian Andrews, CBS 4 News, tonight.